Hi there, hello, good evening and welcome to Peter's first videocast. Yes, we're just in from the regions and yes, they're all wanting to see this and no, we haven't taken any special precautions. This is some kind of Philips camera gadget and I've got a microphone I think somewhere strapped to my t-shirt and it's all very new, very interesting. I realize there's a light switch up there on the wall behind me. This is a North Face hat. It's so strange seeing this because when you're in a mirror then things are always the other way and that way. And it's really that <laughs> Oh darling, so there we go. How are you? Andre Darling, I'm so sorry I can't make it to your birthday party. There are several, more than one handful of people there that I would like to meet. I'm not going to name them here just because I need a script and a prompt card because if you do this sort of thing then you overlook people and they get very hurt. And that's understandable. I'd have loved to have come, but it is going to take 70, 80, 90 pounds. Zoe, pss, pss, pss. The cat's just coming, she's such a honey. Zoe, do you want to be on the telly, darling? Talk to these lovely blogging people in London town, where the streets are paved with gold. One of these days, I'll tell you about going to London town as a young man of 18 and I'll tell you what the streets were paved with oh yes and it wasn't gold and it wasn't pretty in fact we'll see that could be my bonk book <laughs> you've got plenty of bonk book orations going there amongst you all haven't you I'm just going to look over to the left. I'm trying not to look at my ugly pus. Oh, by the way, oh, you want to see this without the hat? Oh, that's me. There you go. Look at that. That's my alopecia. However, I've used my new shampoo. I've got this wonderful shampoo. It was £5.60 for the prescription, but apparently to buy it, it's £11.60, so it must be good. We're chatting. I said to the girl in Boots, the chemists, I said Boots, Angie her name was. It was so reminiscent because she was really like that girl Angie in Abigail's party. Do you remember Ange? Ange, you have got beautiful lips. Look in the mirror and say, I have got beautiful lips. Anyway, she was called Angie. And she was very kind of mousy. She was Angie, really. Yeah, she just was. So anyway, there she was, and they were slagging her. The pharmacist was slagging her. The shop manager was slagging her. Everybody was slagging her. I says to her, Angie, darling, I know just what you mean. When I'm at my work and something goes wrong and they're looking for someone to blame, then I am the one who gets slagged. So I to look a bit sideways and shifty. I'm looking here. Three minutes, 45. That's okay. We can go on a little bit longer. Sorry about that light switch behind. It's not good. No, anyway, back to you. Never mind this. This is Brad, by the way. This is Brad. Computer. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. Poor Priscilla. She has had her day. I don't even know why I'm keeping her. I should fling her out. But there are probably emails there that I want. And I think there are photos stored on Priscilla. They would be nice, but on the other hand, they're all on Flickr. I was so funny tonight, I bumped into John DePaul. John DePaul was one of Edinburgh's, well, possibly the earliest male go-go dancer in the 70s. He was such a star. He was the only gay man, or as Catherine Tate would say, the only gay man gay man no my john's a gay man no 
We'll do more of Catherine later because she is such a star. I think I should stop now and try this out, okay? Listen, if I do decide to post this up, then have a wonderful birthday, darling Andre. Yes. And the rest of you, obviously your party is minimised because one isn't there. Absolutely minimised, but all that money and see the main thing it wasn't just the money I could just about have scraped it together but it was the case of sitting on a train station platform all night long till seven in the morning to get a train and I've heard there are very strange men in London God it was scary enough in Paris in the 80s God du Nord I didn't like Paris. I got off the train and it was scary. Listen, I think this is it between the alopecia and the switch behind me. Nevertheless, this is my first ever video. The quality looks okay at this minute postage stamp size, but we will try it out. I'm going to click on finish.